And hello and welcome to the Blocks of Sleep House here and I'm playing Warframe with Tyrion. Hello. And today, because I forgot that I even had it really, I'm going to try the new shotgun out, the Strun Wraith. Because Vorban's picture, he has a shotgun. So, <laughs> give it a go. I don't really use shotguns that much. So, but well, we'll... It's the most powerful shotgun around right now, so... 190 base damage, so... Well, not to forget that it has 20% critical chance. Yeah. And reloads very quickly. <laughs> well, it'll be interesting to see, because um, I know we haven't really had much chance to show many of them off. But the, the prime weapons are in the game. So it'll be interesting to see if there's, this Wraith is going to be a new type of weapon again. Because the prime Likely. weapons, you'll, you'll only get prime weapons of ten or weapons. That's right, didn't it? Yes. Yeah, because you wouldn't have a, you know, a weapon Take from the Grenier designed by the ten or. But these Wraith weapons, you know, we might see a few different ones. Oh well, yeah, the reload speed is quick. Yeah, for an 8-shot magazine, not bad, isn't it? Yeah. Fucking hell, there's loads of damage. Hey, but uh, but oh. I can also uh, show off a bit uh, how uh, the damage falls off over distance on the shotguns. Yeah. So on large distances you will not deal damage. Which is silly. <laughs> I don't really like it. I mean, I s with this powerful of a shotgun, it's, it would be overpowered. I see that, but... Um, it's still kind of a stupid thing. I'd rather have a bigger spread. Yeah, than, than have damage uh, fall off. Fall off. Well, because the fact of the matter is, no matter how far away you are from a shotgun, if it fucking hits you, it's still gonna hurt. It's just simple physics. Yep. Boom. Ah, but up close, this thing just fucking tears through enemies. And this is a. Don't forget, this isn't even ranked. I haven't got a single mod in this yet. Yeah, if you put mods on that thing, I'll tell you. Whoa, 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 whoa. It just tears through enemies. It, well, the shotgun gets the most armor piercing, doesn't it? Because yes. the bit. 150%. Yeah, the normal armor piercing mod gives it plus 90, which is the most of any of the others. And then the shred. Is it shred? The other one? Uh, no, it was Accelerated Blast. Ah, Accelerated Blast, sorry, my bad. But, yeah, one of the Nightmare Mode mods, which gives you dual stats, it gives you another 60%, so... Yeah, with... This thing can fucking rip through even the highest level enemies. Yeah, I mean, it has a pretty decent accuracy, and just compared to the other shotguns, I mean the most powerful shotgun before was the heck with 140 damage. Now yeah. we have 190 damage with this gun. I think the fall off is uh, kicking in earlier on this one, but it's so powerful that I think at uh, 20 meters where the heck would start falling off, it still deals as, m as much damage as a heck yeah. would deal there. So. Well, plus there's the little uh, exploit, which has kind of made Vault useful again. Yeah, I hope they don't change that. Yeah, for those yeah, of you... Vault will be useful again. Yeah. With other abilities as well. I may use them again for just putting the shield down and shooting through it with a shotgun to make the shotgun uh, damage fall off disappear. Yeah, but yeah. for those of you who don't know, if you shoot through Vault's electric shield, there's no fall off. I mean, we were literally the other day, Tyrion was sniping enemies with this shotgun and killing them in one. So, hopefully they won't change that. But they, I hope so. They need to sort of, they need to relook at, like they've added some of the, some stuff to the game and it hasn't broken the game, but it's made some of the things before feel pointless. Like what's the point now of ever doing the strut, the regular strut? Well, you cannot really get this run wrath anymore, so well... I know, but even like, the heck is a better shotgun in my opinion, than the strun anyway. Yeah, definitely, the strun is not in a worse position than before, it's just, well... I know, you players can't get this thing anyway. Yeah. 
I mean, we were talking about it the other day, the problem with games that always add more and more powerful items is, you know, you're constantly going to have to rebuy these new items. And, like, yep. I, I know we were saying, like, last episode, it's not paid to win. But if you're going to have... If you're just going to keep adding more and more uh, powerful items, you're going to need former for all those items. You're going to need the potatoes. And I know you can craft them in-game, but the recipes are quite rare. I know uh, they gotta uh, make money, but I don't yeah, like I'm, it. I'm thinking, how far are they going to take this with this power creep? How much more powerful will the best weapons in the whole game be compared yeah. to the weakest ones? I mean, they have said they want to make tiered weapons, so basically uh, you'll have different kinds of weapons and they appear in every tier, basically, maybe right. looking a bit different, but basically doing the same thing. Yeah. So I'm just curious how many tiers will they add in the future? Yeah. Well, it's one of the reasons why I stopped playing Swartal for a bit was because uh, they, after the Rise of the Hut Cartel patch come out, I started working my way towards the ranked armor. And I was like four pieces away from getting you know, all the best gear in the game. For PvP players, anyway. And they fucking changed it. And that really pissed me off. I spent so much time getting the best gear. It's like, ah, it's shit now. Yeah. And, and that's the problem of the power creep. Yeah, power creep is... also addressed in the forums several times, I think. Yeah. A power creep, you're better off of trying to avoid it if you can. Ah, but yeah, it goes on I'm energy. Just thinking they should have different tiers, that's okay, but they shouldn't be constantly adding new tiers in the later game. Yeah. Well, there's nothing wrong with having a bunch of guns that do similar damage, but you know, have different play styles. There'd be nothing really wrong with that, like. I know you like shotguns should always do more damage close up than rifles. That's just simple, but yeah, like, you shouldn't you shouldn't just keep well, like we say the power creep. You shouldn't just keep adding more and more power, because then you'll have to just start deleting the old guns from the game. Because they've no why why would you ever get one of the one of the good guns now, if say a year down the line they're fucking pointless. Yeah, I think their current plan is to basically the pow most powerful guns will be either either be locked behind the void, so you have to farm the void either to get a very powerful gun, or you have to have a high mastery rank and uh, can purchase the blueprints from either the clan dojo or the market. Now, see that I don't mind because when I first when we first started playing, like the only things I couldn't access really were the heck and rhino. I had to be rank 2 and rank 4 to use those. And the Gorgon is rank 3, oh, I think. Oh. But, but I think the Gorgon wasn't that interesting to you that, uh, in that way, so... No, but the thing with it was, like, they haven't really done anything else with it. I haven't seen no other... G like, maybe there are a couple of guns now that you need rank 2 for, but I'm rank 4, so I can just use them default, but... They should... If they're gonna have really powerful guns, they really should be limited to, like, people at higher ranks. I know people won't like that, but it's like it's almost a reward then for getting so high. Yeah, definitely. I I mean it makes I I think it's a good solution to, that you still have the void available for players that don't have a high rank. But oh yeah, they can of course. Still get a powerful organ weapon there. Of course, but like the f I remember the first time I unlocked Rhino when we first started playing before the m new mod system and that. You know it. Getting Rhino did feel like I was being rewarded for hitting rank 2 or whatever it was. Yeah, definitely. The thing is... I, I think I either said it to you uh, yesterday or something, I think. I think, I'm not sure. That uh, the mastery ranks require ridiculous amounts of mastery at some point. Yeah. And I'm just wondering... Will they even be able to add enough weapons for those mastery ranks? Yeah. To, to actually get to those ranks? Well, the, the problem at the moment, which I didn't know about till you told me about it, was... Like, I thought, when they when they introduced the former, I thought that meant, oh great, we can uh, level infinitely. Now we can hit mastery rank 8 million if we wanted to, because we can just keep resetting our weapons and regaining the experience. But that's not how it works. 
and I thought that was very confusing. Yeah, I, I had hoped it, this was just basically the solution for that. Basically, yeah. you, you can infinitely level until you reach the maximum rank. I think there is a maximum, which is probably Grandmaster then. Yeah. But uh, there's still a lot of ranks to go. I mean, we basically ha right now have like 14, uh, uh, 24, not 14, uh, confirmed ranks. And to achieve the maximum rank, you le need way more than one million mastery. Yeah. You can drop out if you want, but I'll carry the uh, cores. So okay. you can use your shotgun. Sure. But I, it's strange because you you would have thought with the former that you know resetting the weapon you can gain the experience because you're still re you're still re ranking it up. But for some reason they didn't go with that and. Maybe it's a bit too late now because people would complain. I've already formed up my gun eight times. Why would I do well, it again? Well, that, that wouldn't be that difficult because you just have to. I mean, it saves how many times you have formed the weapon. So oh, that's true. Yeah, they get a little star. Basically, they just have to add 3,000 mastery or something for yeah, each for every star. star you got. There you go. See, we we figured it out. Digital extremes. You can as well mod play, but. If you ever see this, Steve and the rest of you, you know, give us a call. <laughs> You've already robbed most of my ideas. I swear to God, right? I know I've told you before, Tyrion, but I yeah. made a forum post ages ago about things I'd like to see in the game, like there was a suggestions forum. And I made a massive post, and at least like six of my ideas are now in the game. Where's my credit? I said there should be Dark Tenno that chased you around or, you know, tried to stop your missions and, you know, the stalker got added. You know, where's my credit? And I, I can't remember the other stuff, but <laughs> I suggested loads that have been added to the game. I said planet side missions as well. Well, that and was a big topic anyway. <laughs> yeah, well, I don't care, right? It was in my post, therefore I come up with it. You know how the internet works. <laughs> <laughs> I said that I'm the first one. <laughs> and the first one ever, clearly. <laughs> but yeah, I, just, I, I, I don't think, like I say, like we were saying earlier, I don't think there's much they could do to the game that would ruin it for me. And if everything they add just seems to make the game better all the time. There's, like I'm looking forward to seeing Phobos so I can have a look at the, the Grenier planets rather than the Corpus ones. They look I, nice, that's all I'm gonna say. Yeah, well, I, I still haven't seen them. Whether people believe me or not, that's up to them, but... Like, somebody messaged me... Do you know when we did the, uh, the video first Void visit? Yes. That was the first time I'd ever been to the Void, and somebody emailed me calling me a lying cunt. You, you've clearly been to the Void before, because you play the game. If you hadn't been to the Void by this point, you're just a fucking noob. Uh, chill out, bud. Fucking hell. <laughs> he took it. He took it very seriously, and I, 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 it was genuinely my first time to the void. I wanted to keep my reactions legitimate. I'd never seen it before. I'd only heard people tell me how gorgeous it looked, and it, I do love it. And they've added even more stuff now. But like, I, like I said in a previous video, recording in the void at the moment is a bit of a problem until I figure out what's wrong with my settings. But I'm yeah, sure we'll get. Give it a test run, though. Yeah. Oh yeah, we'll give it a test run at some point. But if if you don't see a video for a while of the void, it's probably safe to assume that it came out shit. And I wouldn't want to put that up for you people. But anyway, thanks for watching, guys. Remember to like, favorite, and subscribe. In the meantime, we'll see you next time. Nearly at the boss. Set off. Bye.